I would like to make a few comments about the Computronics example. First, we computed the value of Computronics by calculating the present value of the cash flows it generates and using as a discount rate the rate of return offered by an alternative investment. In our case, it was the rate of return offered by the banks. From now on, this is how we will compute the value of any financial assets. We will compute the present value of the cash flows these assets generate using as a discount rate the rate of return offered by alternative investment. Second, the rate of return offered by alternative investment is called the opportunity cost of capital. Why this name? Because it is the rate of return you are foregoing by investing your capital in Computronics instead of the alternative investment. Sometimes people abbreviate the opportunity cost of capital to simply cost of capital. Third, if the bankers buy Computronics at the present value of its cash flows, that is $40,000 in our example, the rate of return in their investment equals the opportunity cost of capital. That is, the rate that banks offers. You can see this because the gain to the bankers would be $4,000, which is 10% of their original investment. Therefore, an alternative way to understand how the price of Computronics is determined is by setting a price that equalizes the rate of return of investing in Computronics with the rate of return of the alternative investment. Fourth, one key point about the opportunity cost of capital that we will discuss at various points in this series of courses is that it has to be obtained from an alternative investment with similar risk characteristics to the investment we are valuing. This statement is difficult to understand now because we have not covered risk. But intuitively, I want you to understand that the alternative investment we use to value our asset has to be similar. 